this is the 1.5 star Tom Kenchpat, the weekly challenge with our two star Nidli. Let's do this. Yeah, might as well use her in the weekly challenge. Get it out of the way. Okay, spell mana is something that we are we're okay with it. I think going for spell is the right way. We don't actually have a lot of spells. If you think about it, we do. Actually, we do. The ambush spell cards are spell. Uh, ambush cards are spell cards. The transformation one. So the three mana uh, refill every turn is not going to be that bad. We can play all of the bushes and we can easily play them. Okay, let's throw with these. We don't need the expensive one. We just need a simple low mana unit. Yeah, these are fine. They're attacking turn. Hmm, interesting. I'll just play this then. I don't want to play this and get Mystic Shot, that's why. Yes, I can just play this one. Yeah, and then play this one, get mana refill, get two of them, then play this one. Yeah, I know for a fact there's gonna thermal beam or something across the board. If I play this one, it's still fine. I'll play, I'll keep the bush like this. Can you play the, okay, you can, okay, no, no, right. You transform this. Okay, how, which is the most expensive one? The three mana one, so you transform this one into something of five mana. Uh, this is the best stat line, so we'll just take that. It's super, yeah. This uh, nearly power is super. Being able to transform. Go next. This is actually not that great. I always cut this from the deck. In Path of Champions, vulnerability. I have powers to give us vulnerability. Uh, just play this then. I'm fine by that. Even if I transform, do I get anything? Nope. Might as well let it go. We'll just swing and finish them off. Yeah, this one is not that good. Like, it's horrible. Just swing. And this actually... Yeah, this is... The fact that that is burst is broken. You can just do it after attacking. Or during the attack if they react, that is. A super, super... Yeah, two star is super. Way stronger than one star. Uh, I'll take this one. Buffing something in the deck. If I get a hit, if I can hit an ambush in it. Okay, Aphelios is very nice. Yeah, Aphelios should be pretty good. Heal, gold spells. Let's go for spells. We have spell ref mana refill, so we should be fine with a couple of spells. If we get something decent, I don't want to have any of them. This is fine. Needle is fine. Never gonna keep the landmark. Clearly, they don't have anything at the start, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Even the bush has the uh, challenger. Can't use it on a champion, by the way. We can only transform followers. I should actually play this first before that. It's the right way to go, yeah. You buff the units first, you might draw it next turn. Play this one first. I'll make a note. Now you play this one. Yeah, so Nidalee will definitely level up here. We did play the bush first, contribute towards Nidalee, yeah, and then we transform it. Then Nidalee levels up. It's super it's easy to level up in Battle of Champions. Now transform any one of them, which is the most expensive one. Everything costs three, and this has the worst stat line, so you definitely want to transform that one. Holy shit, we'll take the dragon. And then swing. 28 damage. Okay. Oh, still an, not enough. Exactly. Th this bird and Nidalee together will always transform. The bird alone contributes to us like 3 out of 4 transform. Yeah. It's actually not deep if you think about it. Uh, we'll take this one. He has she has overwhelm on her. And she gives another unit. Okay. Expel two copies of it. Recall is not that great. Actually, recall is not the worst thing about it. Mm. Get a random summer. Eh, I'll take this one. It gives plus three, plus three to whatever is left. Okay, what is this? Why is the power there? Obviously, we we'll take the left side because it's giving us a free power. It's better to go get a free power than go in a shop and buy a power. To a certain extent, I guess. 
throw this away. Always keep the bird. Oh, what a daredevil turn. No, yeah, we'll just play this one. In, in major the cases, you never feel like playing this. Until Needle is on the board. Because they're gonna kill it anyway with the thing. Might as well lock it. That's fine. We just... Oh, we can't even transform. Never mind. We just lost a one. Yeah, we lost two years for that. Yeah, that's why you should never play that card. You should play other things. You should only play that after Needle is on the board. Oh, it's alright. Uh... Can play we can play this one. Oh, they're gonna do it again. It's alright this time though. Oh transform. Do it like this. I think I can turn it to something better, right? Uh yeah, for the time being, it doesn't even make a difference if I transform it something better, unless it gets overwhelmed. I definitely want to transform this one, so I can, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. Actually, it does now, if you think about it. They get a scout unit. Because this will give us another unit. So. Yeah, they have a lot of ping spells. Is that this one? It doesn't even make a difference if I play this one on that one. Obviously, I will not, not use a vulnerable on a keg. So we'll just attack with this. We don't want to transform this because if you transform this and it doesn't have scout, we we'll lose the scout attack. That's why. Right. So we'll just play this one. Okay. Oh, we get an attack token, that's why we can transform twice, dude. That is absolutely naughty if you think about it. What is this one? Okay. Fearsome. The highest damage is this guy. I didn't know that if you attack with scout, you get the attack token again, so you get the thing again. That's actually naughty. Yeah, that's such a good to know as well. Scout has good synergy with Nidalee. This one here, or death rally. It's fine. We get another unit out of it, so we get another unit out of it. This one. Let's just go next and swing and finish them off. Okay, I actually want to see how far this transform can go. Ten is the highest anyway, if I remember correctly. This is gonna give Citria, right? Okay, Patakan is there as so. well. Yeah, actually, there are a lot of 10 mana units. I thought about that. But of course, if you go to any of the 10 mana, it's pretty good. And true, Citria is not gonna double the stat line, it's not gonna summon effect. So, yeah. So, Atakan was a better pick there. Uh, I don't like any of them. Think about it. Might as well take this. Bob's attack for a little. And drag something from the board. Uh, cards you draw cost one less. I'll take this one. Cards you draw to get two draws at the start. It's very nice. Yeah. Those two draws at the start will cost one less. So I'm capable of playing more than one card. Yeah. I should have just thrown away that landmark, by the way. I would cut down yeah. Definitely should have thrown away the, that landmark instead of healing for two. Healing for two has less value than throwing away that card. Always want to get rid of rubbish card from the deck. Always keep the bird. If I don't play, yeah, okay, fine. Let's split this one, right? Nah, it's fine. Oh, let's play Nidalee. Playing Nidalee is the right way to go. Because I can transform, take it out. Yeah, okay, the mana refill is very good. Very good. Can you can you imagine a turn to Nidalee on the board? And it's only capable of doing because I have the man thing. Smell that? Mm. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Let them take it. 
and need to live in transform and this hits oh nelly okay she will level up next turn but we do a lot of damage look at this nine 15 is coming from this to alone we could just do this then yeah we could get more birds Double bird, needle into double bird. Oh, shit, dude. Let the sun. Which one is the weakest one? Uh, in between the four twos. Basically, this. And Nidalee has challenger. Yeah, Nidalee is very strong. Yeah, super strong to be exact. Two star, it just makes it very crazy. And at least we'd have found one good power with Nidalee now. Man, I feel is very good. You're capable of doing a lot of things er earlier that you wouldn't be able to do. Majority of the early transformation are three mana, so you can directly play them on turn one. Uh, directly free attacking is not the greatest if you think about it. And the the minus one is also not not that great because the bush will always cost two. So just giving free attack to her is makes the most logical sense. Question is, does she do it when she free attacks? Oh god, plus one, plus one, each one of keywords I have. I'll take this one. It's an epic power, so it's pretty good. Okay, champion attachment, spells, item attachment, champion attachment. Okay, priority, dude, it's an epic champion attachment. I can get double my stat line, actually. That would be crazy. Okay, we have a one mana on us, so we just throw this away. This is a situation, you definitely don't want to keep them in the earlier parts of the game. Yeah, we are about to see, does the uh, bush attack for free? Oh shit, it's that one. Uh, the player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws that many. Oof, I hate this one. Okay, true. Uh, ca uh, cards you draw cost one less, so that's actually funny. Um, should play this one. Oh, it actually applies on the bush as well. That's good to know. So this one. And have two of them. Super. We will shuffle all of them. Ah, oh, we shuffle the yeah one as well. The transform card as well. No. They're definitely gonna do the same thing again. Transform again. Look at this. Turn two, we have like five units on the board. These are actually heavy hitters. Can you see if you get overrun on everybody? Okay, I wanna see the does the bush attack for free? Yeah, the bush uh, the bush will attack for free because the bush has the attachment on it. I think the bush will attack for free. Okay, it does uh, it does attack for for free. <laughs> it's a super weird interaction in my opinion. I'll just attack and finish finish them off. <laughs> the interaction is super weird but it's good to know that the bush attacks for free but the, basically the bush will uh, use the uh, attachments before the needle leaders not like she will do a free attack again after it but <laughs> bush attacking for free okay let me keep this one in our hand at the start you draw it for free, that means you actually can discount it. Okay. Play it for free is pretty disgusting. For every time you use a mana, you get money. Yeah, it's as well pretty good. But played for free is pretty good. I'll take it. That means a bush can be played for free. Okay. Sting off. I, I'll take a reroll here. I'm looking for a rally every round, honestly speaking. Okay, fine. Uh, let's leave and see what's on the other side. Okay. Item. I think I'll go for the epic item. Champion attachment is nice and all. Ah! Hey, wait, I can't, why can't I get into the thing again? What? No, dude, I wanna, yeah, I wanna buy stuff. I'll get the Lurk one, I guess. Uh, I don't really like any of them. Like this one, double draw. In case we get something bad. Ah, uh, look, okay, fine, let's just go to the uh, champion attachment. Even though the epic attachment is more valuable, in my opinion. Epic attachment on a normal unit is better than a rare attachment on a champion, in my opinion. It could be different though. I'll keep the bird, obviously. I should have thrown this away. Farsa adoration, damn it. Could have played for zero mana. What was that? Uh, transform this. Huh, nine bot. 
feel like playing Iron Pot. Why is this showing? Oh, because I can play it for that. Ne never mind. Because I can play this next round. No idea what is. Oh, yeah. You get well, plus one, plus one for each positive keyword. And this guy has five. So he's getting plus five, plus five. <laughs> Turn one. Definitely don't want to put my bush on the board yet. My bird. My bird. Uh, play this one now. This one is three. This one is three as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no need for playing vulnerable. I think. Uh, let's just transform. And then transform this one right here. Yeah. Because that one can block. Go through that one. Elusive. Quick attack. Not a quick attack. I have no idea what just happened, but I'll take it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the, the, the deck is just too strong with the transform. And being able to transform every round because I don't have to worry about mana is another thing. It's very good to know this power works so well. Yeah, it it's prevents the slowdown of the deck. Oh, transform into transform. I'll take it. This guy will transform into whatever you transform, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, plus one, but I get more uh, damage out of it. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm okay with that actually. Does that mean Noodle is bush cost one more? That could be a thing. Uh, cut away that landmark, dude. Yeah, just throw this away always. And face off against a 1.5 star Tom Kench fight, the wiki challenge. Shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, we're breezing through it, and Noodle is just too strong with the transform card. Okay, she will. Okay. Throw this away, obviously, because this come back into the hand. You're gonna be, you'll be able to play it for zero mana. We are about to find out. Is the push 3 mana? Okay, we have a lot of 0 mana play. Play this. Quick hands make quick work. Play this. Now we know. Okay. Now we'll know. Is the push 3 mana? Nah, the push is 2 mana. What? This is super broken. This is super broken. Holy shit, dude. Uh, okay, so let's just split this one. Okay, I should have transformed first, obviously. Which one is the most least expensive? It goes to 2 plus. Holy shit, I can transform this one. <laughs> it won't be a yeah anymore. Oh, Jos, I got a yeah as well. Scout. So we'll just attack with this one. We get another yeah transform. Super broken, maybe. This is beyond ridiculous. Just kill, the, kill them in turn one. Holy shit, dude. Okay, this is such a good to know. The, these combos. The scout combo, the scout thing, and the mana thing. Mana refill one. Okay, so the 1.5 star Tom Kench the weekly challenge done with our 2 star and at least stomped, to be exact. Okay, let's see what we get. Probably, yes. Finished in like 15 minutes or something. Yeah, 12 minutes in it. Yes. Championship part discussion time. Everything went on nearly. Nearly is challenger default. And we gave her a free quick attack. Uh, mana refill when you summon her. And of course, radiant plate. Radiant plate. Armor. She costs one more. But she gets plus three plus three. But the hilarious thing is that she her bush doesn't cost one more. So basically, her stat increases. But she doesn't cost. Her cost doesn't technically increase. Because she comes on the uh, board as a bush for two mana. And then you transform her for the th two mana. So technically, she stays four mana. Even though her cost went up by one she doesn't technically go up by one unless you play her directly it's pretty crazy if you think about it and of course all allies and the powers of course all allies have uh ally all allies that cost three or less are lurkers all allies have plus one plus one to each positive keyword or key each keyword uh game start draw two it's pretty nice because this combines with this power which is cards to draw cost one less and of course round start reveal your mana spell one every round this is an like excellent power to have against uh, with ambush squad in my opinion because you always have to store mana to play these ambush spells but now that your uh, spell mana is free fill you can play it almost almost all the time pretty nice and of course this is needle is two star power it became such a good one extra one and when you get the attack again you get clever camouflage and of course this is needle is one star power it became such uh not every game start whenever you transform an ally granted plus one plus one and impact now that's about it okay so this is the 2.5 star uh listen challenge the weekly challenge with our two star evelyn 
Let's do this. Yeah, let's look at the powers. Okay, mutators. Round start. The uh, operated the force weakest unit to grant double its stats to the four strongest units. Ugh, I hate this one. And of course, uh, game start. All players summon a zero ten. Phantom Prankster is this one, yeah, yeah. So it actually works pretty well with the husks. That's the reason why I took it. So the attachment on Evelyn is Succubus brand, plus one plus one stat line, and when I kill a unit, summon a random husk. Should work well with, well with her, and she, she is the main husk synergy. Should be fun. Okay, spell mana refill is pretty nice, okay. Do we have any slow spells in the squad? Nope, no so, slow spell. Ah, I also take a mana refill. Chrono Break is not constant. That's the one of the reasons why I never take Chrono Break. Because there's like in so little situation where Chrono Break came into my hand and won us the game. But mana refill every turn is pretty pretty crazy in my opinion. Like I can play the spell right now if I want to. You never have to worry about it. Hmm. Just play prank. I mean just play husk. Just that Pretty nice. Oh, true, we'll take a lot of face damage if you think about it. I mean, I didn't think about it until now, but we'll take a lot of face damage because we have to clear enemy units, and when we clear enemies, we will take hit. A raiding party would be a great power to have in this one matchup. Okay, we play another prankster. Just do this then. Take a one one stat line. Okay, they don't actually get one once, they get more way more than that. Hmm, interesting. Let's we'll split this one then. You out like the insect you are. Humanity is obsolete. I said walk. I hmm, oh, can't pull with that one, dude. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting path for sure. It's gonna be a difficult path. Okay. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Weakest will die. This one will die. And that one will grow. In the long run, it's problematic. Yeah, but our husk will do constant damage to face. Yeah, raiding party would be the perfect power for him. Because they grow, right? So we want something to match their growth. Seven damage. Let's just block it like this. Let's do this then. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, we're doing pretty decent. We didn't even take that much damage. Yeah, but it is a little tricky in terms of constantly taking phase damage. I think attacking first is the most logical one to go. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's good. We finish them off. Yeah, so the husk synergy is actually good. Very good, to be honest. And we didn't even pick up Evelyn, so yeah. Didn't take that much. A 6 4 damage. <laughs> A glorious evolution. Pretty crazy. Uh, two mana draw is very nice. I'll take it. Glorious evolution is just too slow because if by the time we reach glorious evolution, we'll take a lot of face damage from deaths across the board. Uh, champion attachment. Uh, Vayne is pretty nice if you think about it. She has challenger on her. Yumi is also pretty nice. She's really just too, too slow. I'll take Vayne, I think. Yeah. She's all right. She's all right. She's nothing crazy, but shop will get priority, obviously. Oh, Hmm. Vayne is nothing crazy, but again, it's fine. The weapon is okay. Prankster is probably something a good... With prank, prankster with the Prankster on the board is a good strategy to go for. Oh damn, look at that quick attack unit. Oh, look at that unit. Hmm. I'll just buff my dude. I mean, you have to eventually take this one out, regardless of what you do. Can't play the dragon though, unfortunately. 
will speak when I allow you. Lady Elise, where are you? I'm just stuck with this one. Please, I have connections. <laughs> Man, create a cast on yeah, create a cast cost on this would be pretty crazy. Yeah, we still haven't even activated the thing yet. The fact that everybody gets plus one, plus one, if you level up a champion. Thank God they did develop something, so I can play this one. Or block this one with that one. It's alright. Block it like this, block it like this, block it like this. Unfortunately, we have to give it up. We're taking too much damage or else. Domination is the right way to go. You are nothing worthless. Impress me. Yeah, the top the path is way harder than it looks. Now it is. It depends on the path, the fight itself, but still. We're taking too much damage now. Um let's go for this first. Returned with impetus. But this one? And then do this one. Then play this one here. Can't even attack, right? Yeah, this thing will take a trade every turn. That's the most problematic part, if you think about it. And they will kill some of the smallest to get something bigger. Oh, damn, dude. Ah, oh, Evelyn is so late. Yeah, she's super late, to be exact. I have to play this one, unfortunately. Don't waste my time. Ringos, what's the fine? Still, highest damage should be this one. The second weakest is this one. Kneel. Thank God the house didn't die, dude. Or Evelyn will be stuck. Uh, go next. Whenever I kill a unit, does the house killing count? And now everything will get plus one, plus one. That's the Evelyn power. Yeah, that's just super crazy with a specific legendary. Okay. That's 22. Hmm. Interesting. How do we even stop that one? Actually, there's no way to stop that one if you think about it. gonna get the F here some there's no way that's 22 too high now we'll just play it slow then so if this Evelyn crossed the uh, six yeah six barrier if this guy gets over when we're dead not the worst as long as you're a blocker for that one you're too worried now we're, we're slowly chipping them away Just always do this. Yeah, even if you don't do anything, they lose automatically after a while. Because we are doing so much damage with the pranksters. We just need constant units, that's it. How much damage are we even doing? I think that is the only way we can win. Yeah, we can't even attack. That dude is just too big. Ah, they got Alpha Claw. We have a husk on our side, so you're not too worried. But they're not swinging, weird. Yeah, I'm just not understanding why aren't they not swinging. At, at this point, we just win, right? Yeah. We just do this, we win. Because they have to block. And for they have to... For, and when they block, yeah, they they will die. Scream for me. Yeah, super. Raiding party is definitely something that I need to look for because this is not even a boss fight and they are growing so much in stats. 
Honestly, Frostbite the strongest, so Stun the strongest will also be pretty good right now. Game changing to be exact. I'll take more Husk units. Yeah, I'll take more Husk. Givers. Please give us Stun the strongest. Should be fine. Weakest one, I'll take a gamble. I have to take a gamble because we're suffering so much. No. 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 I'll take this one at least. It's obviously not the one I wanted. I don't have that much gold left. I'll take one of these. It's a portal, so it gives you a free unit in the long run. Somewhat. I had to take a risk, risk there and go for the Stun the Strongest. Because without the Stun the Strongest, we're in a very bad spot. We don't even have that much HP anymore. Yeah, 10. Mm, you're okay with this. Mm, I strike an element or deal to return. That's not that bad. Uh, we'll take a, yeah, husk. Husk will have a random keyword now. That means husk will basically give two keywords to a unit, not one anymore. Uh, we're okay. Next. See, definitely need Sun the Strongest or something like that, dude. They're growing too fast. Only because of that stupid prankster. Just block it like this. Oh, this dude got life steal. No man, worst ever. Yeah, probably the worst keyword they could get because this guy's attack power is gonna go up, so it's gonna be like a face rush thing. Exactly. Damn it. Holy shit. Worst case scenario. Uh, do this one. Slip on in. Slip on under. It's a vulnerable on the dude. That is, we also have keyword now. Is that five? Still, two, still dies. This is so problematic, man. Yeah, we have to play it slow. Can't really do anything. We, we can't rush against them. They clearly have bigger stat lines than us. And they're taking our set line. This tap line is gonna get swapped to that thing, by the way. Mm. Take a load off. Barely surviving. Mm. Mm. Strike. Life still won't even save us anymore. Yeah, we are also not getting Evelyn like at all. We're getting it <laughs> never never getting Evelyn. Evelyn's level up should just seal not seal the deal, but it will help us a lot. And finally Evelyn. Uh most logical sacrifice is this guy. But that guy is vulnerable. That calls uh, everybody has vulnerable. We need a good husk on the board. Fury is not the worst. Get this one here. Everything a girl could die for. Yeah. So Sun the strongest and Frostbite the strongest is the power that you definitely need in this path to hold the ground the ground. You can't can't deal with these type of things. Unless your deck has the capability of handling those type of things. Okay, she, okay, this is actually pretty good. She got yeah, lifesteal. Now we actually have a decent chance. Okay, the weakest one is this one. So what we want to do is pull this one with this. So this guy dies. The definitely want to trade into this. Can actually can. It's okay with us. Definitely want to take this one out here. Uh, this one has high. Yeah, actually, yeah, we can keep the life steal unit alive. Then in case that in that case we can do this. We can keep the life steal unit alive. This is the right way to go then. We want to keep as many life steal units as alive so you can actually heal for a bit. For a bunch to be exact. Yeah, this is actually nice. I'm gonna go with this. Almost dying, but now we are somewhat decent. Pretty nice. Actually, pretty crazy from where 
Yeah, her, that one random keyword that gave Evelyn life still actually won us the game. Now we are constantly getting life still across the board. Life still can keep us in the game, regardless of how much stat this guy gets. True, that dude also has life still. It's versus life still versus life still at the moment. Interesting. They get 10 extra yeah. Problem is that thing. Okay, we won next game by the way, because we can drag it to the side and do massive damage. We can drag it with the weakest uh, enemy. This gets absorbed. So we can drag it with the weakest enemy and kill them. Yeah. Holy shit, I can't believe we won that one. There we go. Oh damn man, can't believe you won that one. Holy shit. Yeah, the, the last, that random lifesteal won us the game. Evelyn draw clutch was also clutch, yeah. For one mana uh, unit gets an epic attachment, I'll take it, dude. Out of turn, it's not that great. Yeah, let's stop all my stuff on screen. Hilarious, but nah. I've never enjoyed this power. This pit stop. Okay, let's go for uh, epic attachment. Hopefully, it's not the strongest. Okay. Whenever we draw cards, we get plus one, plus one. We don't actually have that great draw, draw synergy, if you think about it. We don't even have a reroll, so... It's fine, I'll take it for the time being. I can, in the future, put uh, draw things in the deck. That's not a problem. I can adjust with the power. And the husk will transform the thing onto the next one. Definitely gonna keep Evelyn, because we're having a hard time getting her. I don't want troll chant though. Uh, hate spike is fine. You triple, yeah, on the board. Now we're getting a lot of them. Might as well just swing and dish out the damage and heal for a bit. Can't play anything right now, anyways. Unlucky. So the thing dying gives a lot. The, the thing that dies is the most problematic one. Okay, so definitely want to take that dude out. That's hundred percent sure. Regardless of what we do, definitely need to get rid of that dude. Yeah. So it needs to be taken out. This dies, so this guy technically doesn't absorb anything. We definitely play this because next turn is Evelyn and Evelyn will double, double stat line from this dude. Man, imagine plus one plus one for each called positive keywords you have. Holy shit. Evelyn is the right way to go. Yeah, create a cast cost one less is such an amazing power to have. Like there are so many good powers on Evelyn's side. We're not getting any of them. While I see what's inside. Uh, everyone has plus one now. Okay. Just give Evelyn tough. She will also get some epic attachment. I don't know what she got though. I'll give my support and rely my positive keywords on that one. I'm sure that is still crazy. Oh, just my keywords. But see, now we are capable of killing or holding against the big one. That's still crazy. How does it work? Is it kill does it directly give the stat lines to it? Goes to five. Oh, gonna... What would you wish to learn? Ready for Just give vulnerable and grow them. You know that. Time to Wait. What is happening? Why does Tatlin change again? Hmm. I don't have no idea how the thing works, but it's fine. Five damage to face. Evelyn will not return here. Yeah, Evelyn will no longer return to the thing. We have two husks, so that's good. I'm not, I'm definitely gonna develop. Yeah. Hmm. Put more the yeah, pranksters on the board.
They have life still, say, yeah, we do. <laughs> Look at Evelyn. Do you have any idea how much she would gain? In terms of stats. If she was plus one, plus one for each, what was it the keywords? Let's just finish them off now. I mean, I could have finished them off anyways, but yeah. Weakest ones, or Carl's support of this one and this one. There we go. Oh, damn, man. Evelyn is so crazy. Holy shit. It's always over so soon. Yeah, the craziest thing is that I'm not even getting good powers with her, and she's doing so well. Okay, draw one is probably what we want. I haven't even gotten pain. And probably Vayne wasn't the greatest of I support squads to get. I'll take uh gear heads. Uh it's there. It's actually interesting. I'll go for the red path obviously. Pretty dangerous <laughs> pick though. Shouldn't have come here though. The dude has like 50 HP. Don't want. Don't want. Vayne Vayne cannot keep up with any anything on the board. Just don't make a but make a difference. What you looking for? Twenty three quick attack. I think prankster developing prankster is the best way to go. Yeah, true. Because we were never, we were never gonna develop uh, Evelyn next turn anyways. Oh God! Shit, dude. Uh, but then definitely prankster was the right way to go. Let's go. Give a elusive hit then. Of course. Yeah, forgot about this. Uh, this fight where they have a lot of burns on their side. That means units are gonna die if, for, not from attacks, just from spells. Shadows in here, friend. Hmm. I got ways to find block. I have to block with both of them. Yeah, because they're gonna attack with that. Okay, then I'm okay with taking the four damage. But you have to be careful about this one. This thing grows by the way for every spell they use. Definitely wanna block the eleven one. What should you see if I give it here? Does Evelyn take the equipment when she takes it? Probably not. At least we have elusive hitter. Evelyn is as a Evelyn is a elusive hitter. I thought, thank God they didn't take the husk. Super. I'm always ready to play. My, who happened to you? Now we are gonna find out. Ah, the equipment will definitely not go to Evelyn. Painful. I just want to check something. Definitely don't go to Evelyn. Okay, let's just play the house, it's fine. We just kill stuff on the board. They have no elusive blocker. So over three turns we can beat them unless they get a elusive. Problem is, yeah, the blocking these things are the problem. Dude. Damn it. Yeah, forgot about the random attacking things and the mushrooms. Yeah, this is not a this is also one of the toughest red path. Poro and this one. Much are we getting? I'm pretty vain, man, as well. I can free attack with Evelyn. Just throw this away. 
Oh. This way. Granted elusive? Shit, dude. Probably the worst case scenario. Oh, granted elusive, dude. But we actually have Challenger here. What we need now is Challenger on someone else. And that should be actually hilarious. Anyone getting Challenger? We win. Because two elusive hitters, they all want to lose a blocker. And there we go. So we can actually get a Challenger now. Because the Husk is a Challenger. Attachment. So we'll just put this one here. So we'll take challenger, we can drag the challenger. They need to now respawn with another elusive. Yeah, we won. There we go. Holy shit. We got triple. Yeah, elusive now. You should be fine. They can't do anything. Yeah. Oh man, this is actually a very tricky path. Unless you have like a spe special way of doing dealing with things, yeah, it's fine by us. Just put this one here. <laughs> there you go. We even heal for a bit. Yeah, super chaotic. I'm not gonna lie, super chaotic across the board. I love it. I want more. Holy shit! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> from nothing to be able to survive actually yeah. that onslaught the quick attack do the, the moment that dude got life steal holy shit man we're getting such bad powers across the board like so bad we get a mana refill right mana refill return i'll take this one late stages are pretty nice every now and then let's go to this hopefully one good thing okay I'll take this one. It's actually nice. Uh, grass, elusive this round. Elusive this round. This can. This is actually pretty good. I'll take it. The reason I'm taking one of these is because, uh, yeah, Spain's champion spell is that. And you can actually use it if you attack twice, which is not that that that, that difficult if you get scouts and shit. I'll take this. I nah, can't play. It. I can take that one. Uh, champion attachment and this. I'll go for, obviously go for champion attachment. Epic champion attachment. Yeah. So super unlucky across the entire uh, power pit stops. We never got anything there. We didn't get creative cost cost one less. We didn't get uh uh legendary. I don't think we can get legendary. We're too low. There, but there are so many powers that would help us in this path. Stun the strongest and frostbite the strongest. Probably one of them. Actually, pretty nice. Please now grow the gear hits. Don't have challenger on us. Actually, do have challenger on us. Okay, challenger here. Keep forgetting. You blade the face of these guys. Cry, guys, grow. That's it. And this will grow every turn because I can blade every turn. Go next. I just need a, I just need another husk. There's a husk on the board. I'm not to worry then. Take a stance. Or the domination then. You are nothing worthless. Don't waste my time. Positive keywords. Plus one plus one for positive key. Evolution would be broken in this path. But this squad, I mean. This is progress. <laughs> You'll just play Apple then. Growing her, like leveling up, is absolutely nothing. Nine eight. Old maps let young eyes see clearly. Nobody has challenged other than this guy, so might as well just pull it like this. I think that's the right way to go. Let's do this. Overturn, I can just finish them off, by the way. I have a prankster on the board. And a knife coming in every turn. Second prankster coming in. Just 
like we prep. Oh, now I understand the noise. The noise is represents the power because it wasn't there before. The noise, I mean. Back on the prowl. I've been waiting for this. this, do this. I have to play a husk right now. There's no way to do it anyway. <laughs> That's fine. I guess it, we have to do it now though. I play a strike and we should I Yeah, let's just kill this one. This one can't even play that one. Damn it. It's fine. Yeah, should have played the prankster and then done what I did, then I would have killed them. That wasn't my miss my bad. Won't matter now, anyways. So just do this. this there we go. I uh, miscalculated there. I thought I had two prank stars on the board. It's always a yeah, now we're doing pretty decent. <laughs> the live steal on those couple of games were class. This is absolutely okay. Other than the fact that he attacks for free, he would have been. He, I think, still think he's crazy. Just keep him alive. That is. Okay, champion HP. Let's see what we can get. Play spells, get plus one, plus one. You don't have that many spells if you think about it. Oh, I do have Blades Edge. This power is going to be absolutely broken, yeah. I get Blades Edge every turn as it is. Uh, we go for a heal. I might as well go for a full heal. We don't need to throw away anything. And face off against the 2.5 star Lee Sin no challenge, the weekly challenge. Should be, shouldn't be that difficult. Now we just need to get something good on Evelyn, like Overwhelm. She grows by one every turn because of the blade's edge. Uh, this is actually nice. Uh, but we don't want to risk too much, right? We definitely want to go Evelyn, get Evelyn. Getting Going for Evelyn is the right way to go. Yeah, hard mulligan for her. Because she's basically the backbone of the entire squad. Oh, we played this one. The husk. Should I play the husk this turn? Okay. I'm okay with this. I'm actually okay with this trade. First of all, it gives me a board space. It gives me a very good board space. And I can actually slow down and not play anything and use the husk on Evelyn on the following turn. Not next. Next turn, I won't play anything. Because I don't have a husk generator anyway, right? So I, Evelyn will be in a bad spot. Yeah. I'll just draw two. Grow them more. And swing. I think this is the right way to go. I should have used the knife. I would have done. I would have done more damage. It's fine. We'll just do this. Now we'll have Evelyn ready. Evelyn will get yeah life steal. So if they attack, we just let it go through. Save drill. We'll just take that one out though. Get the enemy out of the way. Yeah, so let them attack. You never block Listen, and now play Evelyn. Evelyn will have life steal. I have the tendency to get carried away. Everything get plus one, plus one. Yeah. Alyssa would have been pretty, pretty good as well. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? Pretty nice. Oh, we have an informal copy of Evelyn. I forgot about that one. It's alright though. I'm still okay with this. Oh, I can actually play this guy now, yeah. Oh, no, never. Ne Evergreen Ninch was never great. Yeah. Shade or what that. The dude who gives like takes drains every time an ally da dies. I played that one right now. If we want to play something, okay, let's just play Prankster. Pranks are also very nice. She will also have a lucid. Oh, she does get plus one, plus one again. It seems like, yeah, because do, how or, or how else do this guy would have plus three HP? I fight with my spirit, not my fists. This. Conflict is all in the mind. This. Elusive and region. I 
such chaos across the world. Okay. I don't have to do anything. Yeah. Let's just do this. The dragon binds us. There's so much firepower coming in. Because I can get double my stat line, that's fine. And Evelyn is super crazy, yeah. She's super crazy. In terms of what she's capable of doing. Okay, pretty good. Uh, the 2.5 star weekly challenge, the listen challenge, the, we're done with our 2 star Evelyn. Let's see what we get. Okay, yes, the okay, champion achievement power discussion time. So the attack, default attachment I have on my uh, Evelyn is Succubus's brand, plus one, plus one uh, stat line. And of course, when I kill, I summon, a, when I kill a unit, summon a random husk. She has to kill the unit, not someone else. Yeah, and of course, interesting lure. Whenever she, whenever she strikes, she draws one. And of course, focusing control whenever we play a spell, grant me plus one, plus one. This combines with the blades edge that we get every turn. So every turn we play a blades edge, she will get plus one, plus one. As long as she's on the board, of course. Of course, whenever you play a champion, you summon an informed copy of it. It's okay. Not the greatest, but nevertheless, pretty good. Uh, uh, game star summon through arm gearheads. Gearheads gain uh, plus one, plus one attack. Plus one attack, not HP. Every time you use a created card and the blade, uh, blading, fle creating fleeting blade edge is plus one. Uh, created card, so you sh this guy always all also gets plus one as long as you play the blaze edge, as long as they are on the board alive. So it's pretty nice. There's a lot of creative card play synergy across the board. Whenever you draw a card, allies get plus one this turn. It's okay. The husk getting plus one is pretty nice because if the husk get plus one every turn, they're gonna get minimum plus one when you draw normally one card, anyways, right? And next time you play a card and they have plus one, the plus one gets absorbed by the next unit. So it's pretty nice. If not, it's not the craziest thing, but nevertheless, it's pretty good. Uh, when you summon an ally, grant a random keyword absolute clutch in those couple of games where we were dying almost and Evelyn randomly got our life still I always say that this power can save you game in few games when you get a random elusive and a random uh, life steal out of nowhere it's pretty good uh, round star refill your spell mana it was beneficial in a couple of games so I would never complain it's never it's pretty decent if you have at least a few spells in the deck which we technically did every deck has it then. so anyways uh, this is Evelyn's two star part every game starts you get one extra mana and the first time uh, you kill a follower each round create a fleeting copy of it in hand create so if you have cards created cost uh, created cast cost one less so this will uh, lower that card's cost uh, when you level up an enemy champion uh, whenever when uh, enemy champion when you level up an ally champion grant uh, allies every year plus one plus one and it's not restricted that means the more you level up the more plus one plus one everyone gets absolutely broken if you think about it and that's about it okay so this is a 4.5 star uh what challenge i forgot about who's the boss anyways with our three star uh gin yeah the 4.5 star victor path with our three star gin i played this path with three star kindred i lost yes with a three star champion i lost because it's a 4.5 star it's very brutal it's super brutal to be exact and i got a legendary absolutely gorgeous that's why i'm bringing one of my strongest and that's Jin, three star Jin. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is a very difficult path. You'll understand. Okay, I should talk about the powers then. So the reason why it's so difficult is because this has uh, Trindamir's power in it, and it stuns the weakest enemy on the weakest ally of ours when they strike and they draw one. Not to mention the fact that they have ten extra HP, one extra mana, one extra uh, card in their hand. The problem is the. Gangplank fight is beyond ridiculous with this power because they summon too many dreadways and you can't deal with them. So that's why I'm bringing in my Jin onto the board, dude. Yes, <laughs> two mana Jin. Okay, so definitely wanna have plunder before we play Jin, right? That's how it always works. So let's just pass. The fact that they, they come back to life is also super, super problematic. So we just do this. It doesn't kill them. That's a problem. So definitely another problem is that because of the fact that they come back to life, you can't attack or defend in majority of the cases because you lose units and they don't lose anything, right? So yeah, that's super problematic. I'll show you. Right? See to this situation, you do this, it kills, now you can defend because you kill something. But without killing anything, you cannot defend because they come back to life. So you have to like lose, you have to take a lot of phase damage, unnecessary phase damage that is. Okay, this is gonna get vulnerable pulled by that one. Exactly, you can see. Already it's so difficult. Already we take 12 damage. It's fine, our gin is coming as, as it is. Our big our big machine, uh, machine artillery is coming in. Fire this to face.
Uh, captive audience will be super useful here as well. And just absolutely annihilate the board. We don't give a shit anymore. Even if they come back to life, it doesn't matter. Some things are gonna die and some things gonna farm die. And he's gonna level up and we're gonna finish them off. Yeah. Oh, they didn't level up. Oh, because, okay, his cost went down by two, so the number of barrages he fired is two. Okay, it's fine. Uh, nine by nine by six, nine by 12, I mean. So let them play that. So we stun. And we stun that one as well. I think we get him. Yeah, get them to the last one. And stun that one as well. I think this will level him up, yeah. This one will level him up. Super. Mine yeah, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing it super seriously if I'm bringing Jin, Jin into the picture. I can't believe I lost with 3-star Kindred, dude. Tell me where to aim. There we go. <laughs> Look, it was, it was manageable until the GP fight. Man, GP fight was so difficult. Getting bodied by everyone left and right. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'll just play this guy. Okay, I'm okay with those actually. Kills it, kills it. I play my dude. Go next. Just attack. I think he's supposed to be far right, right? Yeah, he should be far right. Uh, Jin gets plus one, plus one for every skill that is played. So he just blows up the entire end. Fine, I guess. There we go. Oh, damn, man. Uh, <laughs> I still can't believe I lost with a three star. True, 4.5 means it, uh, it's above Aryan soul. That, You're gonna feel the difficulty when you play the path yourself. <laughs> I can assure you, okay. So we got these on the board. We don't technically need any of them. Oh, Captive Guardian is always in my hand. Uh, not the greatest of attachments. Well, I'll take it for the sake of taking it. Might as well have one on the in the hand. Uh, I don't like... Uh, we won't even make it to the later parts of the game. So three mana GP is not the worst. Emperor stake champion as your shop will get priority. Yeah. We were pre doing pretty well until the GP fight in the middle. The mini boss fight in the middle. Oh, GP fight. And it's the worst. It's the problematic GP fight. It's not the easier one. It's the one that directly summons Jedi on the board. Mm. Plus two. Can't attack. Can I attack though? I mean, it comes back to life. Too slow, stupid. You capture what is and kill it. Gotcha. Because now it it will get traded, by the way. Okay. Is he pulling it? He do, is not. Well, because he stuns it. But I can kill it. So these are the tempo swings that was never happening in Kindred's. Yeah. We were taking too much damage in the earlier parts of the game. We have a GP, so definitely play GP. I rarely forget and never forgive. That's problematic. It doesn't mean it doesn't matter if you swing like this because my GP will die because that thing will come back to life. The I the idea of them coming back to life is so problematic. If this guy is dying for that to that one now for free. Okay. Pass and see what they do. And I'll just do this into Jin. And fire eight bullets across the board. And Jin should level up, I think. Now there's nine, and he's he was two, so it'll be eleven. But these will level up. Jin will always level up if you hit the plunder, by the way. Even though this is a defensive turn, I'm fine by it. I have captive as an audience to protect myself. Never mind, I need to play a captive audience. He's doing 3 damage each. 
one by us. He's two by three, right? So definitely don't want to use it this turn. We don't want to use it this turn. So the weakest one is this one. So definitely want to stun the strongest one. This one. This one is the auto gonna get stunned by Jin. And Jin, Jin is gonna level up. Super. Question is, do we play Yone? I think we can. We can stun everything. Yone is double stun. We have two captive audience. Question is, how much damage are we doing for four? Yeah, Jin just makes it everything easy. It's because zero mana stun and zero mana three damage is no joke. And of course, the level of damage he does alone. Uh, might as well just captive audience this one. Because Jin is gonna kill them when we swing, anyways. To see how much damage we are doing. Bloody business coming in. Okay. I was expecting a bloody business. I'm okay with this. Now they don't have the mana to do anything. I want to play this. And now we'll swing. Maximizing our. Okay, okay, I can maximize even damage more. We have to, but that's fine. There we go. I don't have to pull anything because GP. Uh, yeah, he's gonna kill everything. Not kill everything. Four damage to everything on the board. And he's gonna grow even more. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it, dude. That loss <laughs> took me uh, so off guard. Actually, GP fight took me off guard. You'll understand when I face GP, even with yeah, Jin, I think I will have a little bit of problem. Killing a dude that's seven HP twice in one turn is too difficult. This is pretty nutty if you think about it. Yeah, you can actually use it to kill everybody on the board. On the board, but it's six mana though. Champion attachments, shop shop will get priority. Get fury on my Jin. Can play my Jin faster. Oh, I think this is fine. Moving along. Your four four point five star. I understand why is it four point five star? Because if you put uh, Trinomir's power in any path, it becomes super difficult because of the Trinomir path being uh, Trinomir power being stupid in the head. I keep Mystic Shot to activate Plunder for GP uh, for uh, Jin. I have this one. Never mind. We don't need to anymore. Uh, our attacking turn. We'll put this one. I can attack. I can just easily do damage. Okay, whenever a person, whenever a unit uses skill, they get plus one, plus one. That's why they got plus one, plus one. I'll keep warning shot for emergency summon on Jin. Okay, we take the hit. We are definitely gonna take the hit. I play GP. Go next. So Jin is one by three. So keep that in mind. We'll just do this one here. We are at the threshold of something great. So Jin is two by three, so that you have to keep that in mind. Turn away. So we'll just blow up the board and swing and finish them off. Do this. This doesn't activate that, by the way. Because it's not a fast spell. Or a slow spell. It's a burst spell. There we go. Oh, he didn't level up. Interesting. I mean, it's off, off by off by one. So how much damage is that? There we go. We don't care. We don't care. We don't have to level him up. He's gonna level up during that attack, anyways. Oh. Yeah, I think with Jin it will be manageable, but trying it with anyone else is going to be super problematic. Because Jin is capable of killing and holding the ground down with stuns. That's why this is this path might not seem that difficult. But with Kindred it was super difficult. We were taking so much damage in the earlier parts of the game that we couldn't stand to face them in the later parts of the game. Mid game, I mean. If you take 15 damage per game, by game three you're dead, anyways. Huh. We turn into Poro. Uh, I don't like it. I cost one. Okay, fine. One mana stun is pretty good. I'll take it. Okay, go to shop. Golden shop and go shop will get priority. Oops. Shop will get priority. Okay. 
keep the weakest one that one mm. crack shot per crack shot per seer having yeah is also pretty nice i'll take this one though i'll take a cut on someone useless uh, unit sucks is all this like i'll take i'll take a throw with the yeah monkey i don't this is the fight that I, I lost brutally i i lost both of my revives here it's so difficult i'll explain the four summons a powder cake every round fair enough the first time the four uh four stars around with less than 20 hp they summon the dead way i didn't really read it i thought it was the other one where they get them in their hand and suddenly they have two dreadways on the board because one is from this power and one is from this summoned i'm like dude what am i supposed to do against two let's see if, yeah okay, this is actually worst case scenario that he got discounted because now he's only gonna fire two uh two barrage is not four each so total four not eight this is gonna be problematic as well now and uh, yeah another thing the cakes cannot be killed you have to kill them twice every turn this, that's another pain there's a scent in the air <laughs> so at a given moment they have like 13 cakes on the board holy shit it was super hilarious though uh, I'll take that kick out. Definitely gonna take that kick out. <laughs> Have the chance to take it out, dude. <laughs> See, on turn two, they are summoning GP. So understand <laughs> why this path is super painful. Um, definitely want to attack this turn. I think they just set it up, set it up right now. Set it up right now. Question is who's dying? Someone okay. This guy's dying. Okay, this guy's dying. This one's taking a three damage rate. Kill them. I'll definitely block it like this and kill them. You understand? This just happened on turn two. So doing dealing with this with Kindred is super difficult. Even if he's stable in the middle middle of the path, not this early, dude. And the only reason I'm capable of matching their ridiculous value is because Jin has ridiculous value. Yeah, this is gonna be manageable right now. Uh, Jin is 8 by 12. Play GP. GP playing, GP. playing GP is not the right way to go. Play the Corsair into these two should be the right way to go. You want a double stun? Fine by us. So we'll stun this one. I am frightened. This is Scout. Your adoring public we'll play this dude. Scout kill this one first. Jin levels up, I think. Yeah, yeah so. Huh. Oh. I can assure you, play with anybody else and you'll feel it because I was feeling it. I was feeling it. I was sweating bullets. <laughs> Everything is done on the board now. If I stun that, what will happen? If I stun this, actually I don't even stun that. I can kill this one, right? And it comes back to life. If I stun that, uh, how much damage is that? Uh, 6, 10, 12. Uh, 14 damage. Oh, these are gonna, guys are gonna grow. So they can even more damage than that. 21 damage. Super, I'll take it. A raiding party would be nice right now. Okay, go next. The fact that they're still standing even after his combo, you can understand. See, directly they can sound right away. <laughs> and now the real one starts. <laughs> the good thing is that Jin can actually take out the barrels properly. See? See, see, he died. <laughs> Jin died right off the bat. Holy shit. With 12 to 8, Jin is still dying here. Okay. Cash my E out. Sorry, I'm on 9 HP now. <laughs> so dumb. Step into the spot to break that one first. Killing Dreadway is more difficult, by the way. That's a, those are no point going for it. Ah, see what they're doing. Okay. Okay. So double damage here, right? So to keep that in mind. Uh, do this one here. Do this one here. Do this one. Okay. So GP is dying here, so not to worry. 
Yeah. Chippy is dying here. Let that let these people die first. Don't try to do anything in quick order. Yeah, now you just take this one out. Now play GP. And now kill it. Yeah. My god, Jin is so good. Holy shit, Jin is so good. And just swing. Uh that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that should finish them off. No amount of, no amount of things on the board will make a difference. There we go. Put it like this because he has overrun. Yes, bro! Oh, <laughs> Pulling it, my big boy! To finish them off, holy shit, dude. <laughs> you are almost losing here. With Jin. If I lose with Jin, I have not... I, actually, true. We have Jinx as well. Jinx is even more broken than Jin. Oh, God. It's like 14 damage. Yikes. Double my stat line. Let's see how big I can get Jin. Look, I'm on the board 24 or some shit. Oh, uh, whenever we draw, okay, we get a card. Actually, we don't have draw synergy on it. I might as well have a, a little blocker. Okay, I've never made it till this far point of the game, so I don't know if we can manage. Mm, okay. Oh, this is okay with us. As long as we just need chin and a, a way to activate plunder. And dude's here as well. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, I don't think there's any point of playing this dude. Might as well just attack. Get the Dia in. I get no point of playing anything right now. I get no point of playing anything right now. Yeah, no point of playing anything right now. Because they come back to life. Killing anything right now doesn't make a difference. We got Aurora. You got okay. Again, it's fine. We let it die. And then we can play GP. I rarely forget. I never forget. Okay, yeah. It, so, there, this guy is gonna keep on going, which is fine. The worst case scenario if this girl keeps growing on the board. Whatever's on the board, we get plus three, plus three every turn. We're okay with that. Uh, uh, I'll spell shell my gin. So let's see how... Double my stat line happens after the growth, right? I think so. What I mean by that, he's gonna get plus one, plus one for each skill that he's been played, and then he will double his stat line. Yeah, there we go, 28. How much is that? Nine, nine, twelve. Still, do we have anything we play? That is, to play stun. Play the stun. Okay, let's play the zero stun first, and then go for the others. What did I get? I don't know what. <laughs> why did that animation happen? Weird. Thirty-eight. It's fine. We can actually go even further, right? Nah. Oh yeah, we can. He just is not leveled up yet. To do this. And then play this. To bring him to four, so he levels up and shoots and kills him. There we go. We must all play our part. Holy shit. 29, 31. And now we play it. Okay, they have another unit now. That's alright. All of them are our own. Actually. Just do this. Oh, that's why. Because these have these have manifest in it. And so far from my region. Where are the manifests going? <laughs> yeah, weird. Bugged out somewhat. You see how much HP they have. Even with the swing, they're not dying. Even with the 30 swing, they're not dying. <laughs> a red pet funds. Oh, true. This is a red pet fight. That's fine. Oh, we got the dude. Mmm, I'll pass. Pass. I think they have no reason to do this, but I'll keep my GP alive, I guess. I have prepared something very special. 
actually auto auto stun him. We'll just swing and finish them off. These are not gonna come out. This is gonna come out though. Okay, yeah, but this guy alone kills them. They have to respond to the elusive. Excluding the fact that we are swinging with a 33, 33 overrun, 32 overrun. Double my stat, li stat line and Barat's gin. There we go. Yeah, this for you to be able to beat this pet, you need absolute like luck and power on your side or something absolutely broken like Jin or Jinx. The thing is, it's taking to so long. It's crazy. Uh, I think I'm gonna plunder to Jin, I think, right? The point, increasing HP doesn't make a difference. We'll have more copies of Jin. That's good. Yeah, two copies of extra have more copies of Jin, higher probability of drawing him then. Oh, I don't like any of them. Slow spells are casted twice. I don't have slow spells. Okay, I'll take another sting officer. Okay, good. I, want, I don't want to use my reroll in the open like that. Oh, memory game is a very bad power to have here. Also on the other side. Smooth soloist. If I buy anything right now. Give the weakest one. 300, I go to 120. 180, 180 plus here is 300. I won't be able to buy it an epic power there so might as well skip this one this 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 thing won't give us anything by the way the power i mean so might as well not take it do i need to buy anything else uh for 180 i can just get this i'll have 200 left yeah good perfect i'll take okay, i'll take one more two more i guess yeah so 240 i'll get 160 from here 160 will give me enough to buy an epic power there i think i think we get 160 per win i think I'm not sure though. I think it could be 135 as well. Ugh. Then I lose an epic power for nothing. Uh, throw away everything. Jin is looking nice. Okay, we have our combo ready. Not too worried, too worried or anything. We got an ancient coin on him. Super. Oh, there was Sparkle Fly. Definitely play GP for two mana. This is the elusive. Swing at everything, obviously. Why not kill these? Okay. Good damage done. Okay. I don't have to do anything, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. It's fine. We don't have to do anything right now. Chain is 0 by 3. Keep that in mind. So fire barrage and play Jin. Gonna fire nine across the board. Stun swing should finish them off directly. Because Jin is always gonna go back to whatever he was. He's a 20 at range. When he doubles his stat line. Yeah, exactly. What just happened? <laughs> the game froze. The game broke. I skipped the entire animation. What? And it happened instantaneously. I didn't edit anything. Okay, that was hilarious. Yeah, I think it, Jin broke the game. Let's stun this one. One more, right? Uh, just do this then. Jin levels up. And swings for 4 damage on everyone. Super. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> it, it skipped the entire barrage animation. <laughs> there we go. Swing should finish them off. I can't believe I actually bringing in Riptide Jin to win a game. I mean, when push comes to shove. Losing with a 3 star champion, you know the path is difficult. And of course, labeling a path above Aryan Soul is no joke. Uh, always in my hand. I'll take it. Not the worst. This is also not the worst. But I definitely don't want space on the board to be taken up by these guys. Okay, smooth soloist. Okay. You don't actually get uh, enough to buy the epic. Ah, oh, it's such a good epic. It's actually a very good epic. Uh, Vanguard took its horrible. Uh, this is actually very nice. We have four units coming on the board for free, by the way. Two gearheads and two... Uh, what's that called? agent whatever that is okay 
Heal for six and face off against a 4.5 star. Victor. Yeah, that epic card would have been nice. Epic power, I mean. Chip in my hand. So we have four units on the board. Two sting officers and two gearheads. That's nice, actually. Hmm, five. Pretty good. Now we don't have a space for Jin. Victor's been played on turn one. Hmm, interesting. I think I'll just pass. I don't think I should do anything anyways. I have the setup ready. I just need Jin. It's over on. It doesn't actually make a difference if I block or not. Might as well play this. Yeah, in the hopes of getting Jin. Makes sense. For us to play draw cards. No draws. Just swing. Because of what we do, we definitely want to play... We definitely want to swing, that is. So ignore the ones they're going for. How much is that? Six coming in. Two damage there. Yeah, that's fine. You got death rally? Yeah, rally? Yeah, last bit rally. That's actually interesting. That is actually super interesting. Nah. I, I had one man I could have killed to get a rally again. Damn it! Dude, that was miscalculation there. I thought I, I, this, I thought this was so free. This one was free. My idiot brain. Holy shit. Okay. To kill something on the board. That's nice. So weirdly. 13 damage, I'll take it. It's fine. I don't have to do anything right now because we're doing everything for next turn. Might as well play GP. Okay. Whatever we do, we do it next turn. We finish the game next turn. Because this girl is death rally as well. I mean, death, uh, last bit death rally. Okay. Okay, so let's reduce his cost first. Oh, I shouldn't have reduced the cost. No, I'm an idiot, dude. I just reduced the number of barrages I'm gonna fire. Actually, that's not the worst if you think about it. Yeah, but that means he won't level up. Because you fire the num the cost equivalent to the cost. So I lowered the cost, so I fire less barrages. And by the way, the only reason why they're capable of playing this is because... Uh, okay, they're... Okay. Damn it. He killed it first, so we don't get rally again. We get rally only once. I think we still have enough. Then. Yeah, I think I do have enough. Stun that one. On by here. Stun. That's gonna get stunned. Yeah, there we go. I think we got it. That was so bad. Holy shit, dude. Was, it was, it was almost a costly mistake right there. This is Boro. Yeah, 47. There we go. Takes only one swing. Yeah, man. Almost. He <laughs> almost threw there. Yeah, I think if we had gone down one more cost, we wouldn't have enough damage. Yeah. Even with Jin, it took us like 30 minutes to finish the path. You understand how difficult it is. Yeah, 4.5 five star, I actually respect it. It is... Sometimes, you know, you get a path that's high value, but you... High star, but you think that's not good enough. But this is a 4.5 star victor path, for sure. It's a very difficult path. Okay, so let's see what we get. Probably an A. A. Okay. Champion and champion power this time, so our Jin, big boy Jin, with uh, two uh, Riptide battery, whenever you plunder, you fire barrage is equal to well to the cost, so you fire four, as you have two, you fire eight, and, and he alone, this combo alone contributes towards like this nine, 
uh, skill points towards his 12 to level up. So this is broken. Major of the cases, you will just level him up when you play this together. And of course, the other one is Troll, uh, Troll King's Crusher, means he will have overrun, which is pretty nice because you have a big stat line. So major of the attacks that you will do not always gets absorbed, but him having overrun means you will actually dish out the damage as well. Of course, when I summon it, double my power. As you can see, the order is this. These are first and then this. So the whatever stat line you double it's after the um, skill uh, levels uh, stats you get from this and the reason why you get stats from this is because Jin's star power which i'm going to talk about is whenever a uh, ally plays a skill or unit plays a skill they get plus one plus one and each of the barrages is considered a skill so he gets plus nine plus nine right off the bat from all of this so that's broken and that doubles so it goes to at least 18 it goes in the 20 range pretty nasty of course Moving on to the powers, we'll talk about it. Okay, let's talk about the chins one, this one. So, uh, for every fourth fast spell, slow spell, or skill spell, create a ca zero mana captive audience. Captain mana, zero mana captive, captive audience. Either you do three damage or stun a unit, and this is done for zero. This is two, but you create a zero mana one in your hand. And this is the next one, is the one I'm talking about. Uh, this is Jin's two star power. It became such you can max mana. When an ally, pr ally plays a skill, grant them plus one, plus one. For each barrage, you get plus one, plus one. On Jin and Jin gets plus nine, plus nine, and that doubles and goes to 18. So you can understand you go in the 20th range because of this axe. Holy shit, this is absolutely broken as power. Okay, let's look at the other powers. Game Star summon two gearheads. Gearheads are these plus one, uh, one mana, one one. They have quick attack. Every time you play a creative cards, they get plus one. Captive audience is a creative card, so they get plus one through that way. A good uh, supply of plus one stat line. Of course, we have two sting officers. Uh, round Star, the weakest ally gets on the board gets plus one plus one okay it's not the worst one of course when you summon a, uh, an ally granted fury it's it's pretty crazy is because when you kill people with the barrages it contributes towards fury i think i could be wrong but i think it does contribute towards the fury thing and it's pretty nice as well legendary the first thing that we got in the start of the path game start R add a random item to each card in your deck for this game it's pretty nice it's random so you sometimes get pretty good attachments across the course we talked about this talked about this of course game starts you heal your nexus for four and of course uh, game start draw a champion not specifically Jin. any champion in the deck you get a free draw and that's about it